Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm going to be talking about the step up spawn that just came out. We have a new step up spawn, nearly the same one, at least cost wise. This one's also going to be 95 gems just like the previous one and on top of it, it's going to offer uh, it's going to offer 5 uh, droplets of ether so it's going to be half an ether just like the previous step up spawn. But this step up spawn is not like the last step up spawn, the previous one, the one over here. This one is actually going to be a lot more fair with everything it has involving it. It's still not, I personally wouldn't say worth the price unless perhaps say you need more water monsters. If you don't want, if you don't need or want more water monsters specifically, I wouldn't go for this. The weapons and armors are absolutely, everything in here is water element, all hands down water element. So if you're interested in any of that, you can grab it, but keep in mind with the weapons, it will be completely random. So you could be an archer and get spawn this and get swords, straight up swords. So I want you to keep that in mind as well when you're thinking of spawning this and everything surrounding it. But anyways, let's actually get to the spawn. Okay, so first start off, they're going to guarantee one SSR. They're going to guarantee one SSR gear piece and they're going to guarantee one SSR monster. And that's pretty much it. It's going to be a three step up spawn. This is how it's going to go down. This is what they're going to have to offer. So they're going to have to offer DJ Himigo, Bastet Ruler of Dunes, Edward Teach, Mortal Sin, and then they're going to offer Wolf and Heinzel in here, and then they're going to offer from 35 cost weapons and 36 cost armors all the way down to 33 cost armors and 32 cost weapons, and that's legitimately how far it's going to range. Literally, the only set that's going to be 32 and 33 cost, 33 cost weapons, 33 cost 33 cost armors that is at 32 cost weapons are the snow stuff down here and then it's gonna go up from there it's gonna be 35 cost armors 34 cost uh weapons and then it, it just goes up from there there's four water sets and the whole thing box so that's pretty much what it is and only one of those is really bad even if you get the 35 armor 34 cost set 34 cost puppet set they have bulwark bulwark is absolutely like element orientated like it's highly recommended you get the bulwark stuff the banner stuff right here the bulwark stuff absolutely it may say exclusive skill but let me tell you with like certain elements these banners slash bulwark armors and gears are definitely orientated around kicking fire's butts so definitely getting these will help and this is literally the second weakest set in the whole box not box but um <laughs> let me rephrase myself completely there in the whole step up spawn so if i said box before i had met the whole step up spawn or the reward pool or the reward box whatever you really want to call it and i did not mean to click that so i'll be right back i'm back everybody i hate how they have that right there because honestly i'm pressing back constantly and then i'll press that tv sometimes and boop accidentally uh click it and all that stuff so anyways moving on from there they definitely, they definitely added more of an actual value to the spawn for sure compared to the previous one. The one I was complaining about, like they didn't add, like I, I think they took like the last device I gave them. If they're going to make it 95 gems, they might as well make it worth it. I wouldn't say this is going to be worth it for all players. In fact, I, this is actually going to be a worth it price, but it's only going to be worth it for like a small percentage or a fraction of you. At least I could say like a decent sized fraction, like a slice of the pie like wise of like players in ul honestly if you need like almost every monster in this legitimate that you're guaranteed at the end unless you get the mortal sin every monster is going to have awakening so they will be they will be useful for like awakening material uh you can use them for stat sticks you can use them for pots anything of the sort but also keep in mind um there are also cheaper alternatives this is our feature gear piece and the recommended pack over here you get the recommended pack i think they have it no they don't have it sometimes they have a record oh they never mind 35 right here is actually going to be around actually as much except your guarantee of 35 at um or actually yeah it's it's actually going to be around as much as right there so if you're interested in getting it from right there you absolutely can instead so it's it's guaranteed right there as well so if you're interested in that you absolutely can do that but i forgot to say the recommended pack also has ethers now i love what they did with the recommended pack the recommended pack is also going to give you some gems back so they got the awakening orbs absolutely for almost every spawn you do oh no they have it for every not spawn but um every choice you make they have awakening orb one and then they got the awakening in you so 
that's pretty much that like they have the whole set there so if you want awakening and awakening material i recommend doing that instead of this but you want water stuff definitely this is going to help out whether it's water monsters or water gear you may get water gear that may not be helpful and keep in mind this will be 95 gems so it will be a tad bit expensive for what it's worth but it's honestly not too bad of an actual deal so I'm not going to do this myself, I don't need to do this, and I personally would rather stick with something that's going to eventually rec like guarantee me uh, the water bulwark stuff for my archer and stuff like that, so I'll stay away from this personally, I'm not going to do this, I'm not interested in throwing down 95 gems for something, like if you're free to play, like if you're free to play you might take the risk because like you might not have like a crap ton of gems to spend on the treasure spawn to get like the metal from the metal exchange and stuff like that, but personally I'm not going to do this this is not worth it and this is highly inefficient for just what i want i, I only want the borok stuff and the banner stuff I, that's all i care for so i'm definitely not going to do this because it's not even guaranteed to get me let alone the actual weapon of my class so thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and i hope this helped out this is the azraft and i'll catch you in the next video i am out Peace.